Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Bull, Manager of Developer Advocacy. Hi, I'm Daryl Clark, I'm the CEO of Incapto, based out of Australia. So good to have you here. You know, as we're wrapping up day four of Cisco Live EMEA, um, there's just been so much that has been happening these last few days. Learning new technologies, everything. Um, and one of the spaces I've got a chance to talk to a lot of folks about is specifically related to Meraki um, and some of the ecosystem things that are happening. And I really thought it'd be interesting to have, to have this conversation with you about Encapto. And on the managed services side, and, you know, here in the DevNet zone, we're all about, we say automation, but I think that's too blanket of a term. Really, it's about how do we contextualize data um, that is like raw data into actual business decisions and yeah. simplify our lives every day. So I'd really love to understand how Encapto plays in that space. Yeah, absolutely. So Encapto is a, a cloud-based platform specifically targeted at managed service providers. Um, it helps them to assemble cross-architectural platforms um, into compelling business outcomes and deliver them as a service. And so, for example, Meraki, we can take Meraki, we can package it up, create quite compelling bundled propositions for businesses that speak specifically to each business needs, from wireless, from switching, from security, to routing, as well as you know, bringing in other vendors as well, such as Umbrella, which is also relevant in the workplace today. That's fantastic. You know, I, it, even just the starting point when you're bringing that up, tugs on a through line that I've noticed so much throughout this entire time at Cisco Live, and this afternoon especially, is that it sounds like your company, I mean, if I'm oversimplifying a little tiny bit, what you're essentially doing is taking this, this gap between the people who sort of operate environments and the business decision makers, the business owners, who need to understand what's happening so they can make their decisions. But so often there's this gap in the middle where they don't, they don't know how to talk to each other because they don't understand what each other does. And it yeah. sounds like some of what you're describing is creating that sort of abstraction layer so these folks can make decisions based off of the real information that you know, our technical operators are working with. Yeah, absolutely. And look, it's a, it's a valid point. I mean, in managed services, you know, what is a managed service? It's um, a technology company providing um, a service to make the business technology work in, in simple terms. Now, you know, when we think about Meraki dashboards or, or even uh, Umbrella dashboard or any of the Cisco portfolio, they're complex, right? And they're complex for a reason because they do you know, a, a fantastic job of just managing complex technologies like Wi-Fi. However, there's often a gap. Um, in how the customer perceives that managed service or what they can do. So, you know, they know their network's running, right? But if they want to change their password, uh, passphrase on their Wi-Fi, um, or make the simple changes to their network, or see what value they're getting from the network, it's, um, it's often not shown to the customer. So we have a, one of our key pillars, we have the three pillars of our platform, is called Encapto Unify. And what that does is it cherry picks functionality from Meraki and Umbrella um, and other platforms, um, Cisco platforms, and pulls them all together into a single unified dashboard that is easy for the customer to understand and allows the customer to just do simple day-to-day -day tasks um, within their business. So, for example, they may want to change the SSID. The old-fashioned way is, you know, they don't have any access. They call the help desk or the support desk or send an email off wait for a response and then someone says okay what would you like us to change it to and of course you know there's challenges around that there is a way of solving that you could give them access to the Meraki dashboard for example mm -hmm. but there's two options there generally in many vendors it's full read uh, full access full read write access um, or it's read only now customers perhaps don't have technical teams these days, the challenges there are they can make breaking changes. Right. Right? They can change things they perhaps shouldn't change. So with our platform, we, allow, we use the APIs to just cherry pick out that functionality, put it into a single dashboard for the customer, and that customer can then go in and say, okay, I just want to change the passphrase. And they can do that instantly. We know self-service is becoming so important. And you know, Encapture Unify addresses that. Um, it offers functionality over and above what you could offer just by presenting the, the, the vendor dashboard, the Meraki dashboard to the customer. So, for example, um, we can build highly verticalized use cases, right? Whether that's for a specific business or whether it's something like sustainability. So, having the dashboard access for the customer, we can see, for example, you know, that there are 50 IP phones plugged into the switch and the customer may want to power them down at the end of the day, mm -hmm. at 8 p.m., and power them back up at 6 a.m. whenever everyone returns to the office, okay? 
do something for the environment in that sense. Sure. With Incapto, we could just make that really simplified. So we will basically just identify all of the uh, ports that have devices plugged into them, allow the customer to set a schedule and say, look, I don't need my devices during these hours, let's power them down. And then we could even create a widget to show them how much energy has been saved. So it's just that ability to build use cases around customer needs. You took the next words I was going to use right out of my mouth. It's a, I, I really um, gravitate towards this idea of a use case driven model that yeah. you can deploy to your customers um, or the, the services you're providing to them. It, it, what it helps them do and what I love about this is the Meraki dashboard and really the APIs that they provide through that um, give you and others the ability to say, I just really need these three things to happen. Yeah. All this other stuff that's in the dashboard, it's necessary and someone will need to look at that. But what I need to solve my problem, whoever that person is, is these two or three things. So where you're stepping in is to say, let me show you, let me solve those three things for you. And that takes care of 80% of the things you have to deal with on a daily basis. And because you're leveraging a form of automation with it through APIs, et cetera, you're able to basically create take away the repetitive tasks that the human brain is not super great at yeah. and let that computer do it for you so they can sit back and say, what are the complex things we have to deal with? Yeah, well, it's, it's what the marketplace ecosystem is all about, okay? Just, you know, there's great technology there. It serves its purpose, mm -hmm. okay? To extend that and bring use case functionality on top of it, it's all about the APIs. And, and the, you know, the APIs now are, are very mature mm -hmm. um, in Meraki, so there's not much that you can do in the dashboard that you can't do, you know, you can also do it within the APIs as well. Absolutely. So it's really just about layering that functionality over the top of that. You know, you've mentioned the ecosystem marketplace for Meraki and others, and I, I, I'm really curious how, you know, how you're feeding into that marketplace to really try to solve for these use cases for customers and your clients. Yeah, well, I mean, it's what the marketplace and the ecosystem is all about. Um, Meraki provides fantastic functionality um, in delivering the, you know, the, 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 the portfolio of products they have, whether it's switching, rating, Wi-Fi. Um, however, there are you know, quite exacting use cases that are required from customers, and the ecosystem is left to go off and do that. And that's often in partnership um, with um, you know, managed service provider partners, Cisco partners, um, in how we can deliver exacting outcomes because they all have needs that you know, Meraki are just not going to satisfy. So that's where the APIs come in. That's the beauty of APIs. It's just our ability to listen to what the market is looking for or specific customers um, to help them A, scale their business or deliver exacting outcomes. Mm -hmm. And then we can develop on top of that. And I think a lot, of, from what I've experienced when I was doing network engineering on a regular basis as part of my career, I, I, that's what I always experienced. A tool like the Meraki dashboard or you know, DNA Center or whatever it happens to be, solves for a lot of your problems. There are just as many times though, to your point, where something like leveraging the APIs and working with a, a company like Capto, where you can say, that's all great and someone's gonna need that interface. But what I, again, like I mentioned before, what I really need is a simplified version to solve for something that I'm dealing with right this minute. Correct. So what would you say over the next, you know, six months to a year is kind of the future of your, like where are you, where are you seeing you go next and what are you, what are you gonna be focusing on for your managed service partners? So we're really gonna be focusing on just bringing additional functionality into our platform. Um, you know, we, 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 we've, it's quite a mature platform now. Um, it has a lot of functionality around automation. So, you know, we can automate the creation of networks. Um, so you wanna deploy a, t a 1,000 teleworkers um, for a specific company? you can run a couple of commands in Incapso and have that run out. So cookie cut, conveyor belt, mm -hmm. um, using a standard configuration template and deploy that. So that really just talks around operational efficiencies um, within the, uh, the technology provider, um, you know, a big challenge today. Um, you know, the other cross-functional departments as well. So billing, um, you know, we have plugins for billing so we can simplify that whole billing process. Mm -hmm. Really just to help the um, service providers and the managed service providers simplify, streamline, and scale their offering. And one of the really important things about managed services, um, especially in you know, being competitive and being, you know, being able to service the right market, is protecting your margins. Mm -hmm. right? It's no longer bill of sale materials. You know, it went over this by this much. You pay the extra price for the additional services. It's, you know, it's cookie cut. It's $150 a month. Right. And you need to produce the service for that and then deliver it to the customer and support it and make sure you protect their margins mm -hmm. and your own margins. But more importantly, make sure you're at the right price point right. as well for the customer. So, um, so the, the future will really be around you know, optimizing those processes, looking at additional functionality. Um, so 
you know, we are, again, we're across architectural, so bringing security in from Umbrella. Um, looking at firewalls, perhaps, from ASA as well. Um, mm -hmm. Extending functionality within the existing Meraki portfolio. Fantastic. Well, as we wrap up, I just want to give you an opportunity to share with the audience, um, how can they find out more about what your organization does, get in touch with you, those sorts of things? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can just uh, head to the Meraki Marketplace, um, look on there, look for Encapto, um, um, or head to Encapto.com. Um, and get in touch with us. We are based in Australia. We have a presence in the UK, um, also in India and America as well. Fantastic. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining. You can find more resources from Developer Zone and Cisco Live at developer.cisco.com slash Cisco Live.